Hey there, Chad Bonja here for Ohio University Libraries. If you're researching the wired telecommunications industry, this video demonstrates my top eight picks to use when researching that industry. Hopefully it helps you. So the first database we'll look at real quick is Plunkett Research. Uh, simply when you get to the front page here with the industry research centers, just click on telecommunications. And that will take you to the, the uh, telecommunications homepage here. And primarily what I usually, when I'm looking at industry and company analysis, I will look at the statistics and the market research and trends section. So we'll just take a quick quick look here at the market research and trends section and kind of show you some of the things you can find here. These are updated annually and so it's a great resource if you know nothing about the telecommunications industry, a great resource to kind of find good information there and you can see the kind of different topics that they that they look at. And this is updated uh, once a year uh, uh, and you can see it was just recently updated in July of 2012. So a fairly new resource that you can look at for overall understanding of uh, uh, general industry trends uh, in the telecommunications industry. IBIS World is another great resource to look at for just a general industry overview if you're just getting started. Uh, just search for telecommunications there in the uh, industry keyword box there and you can kind of see what kind of information comes up. Here's your wired telecommunications carriers in the US, uh, about a 35 or 40 page report. That could be useful and these are typically updated a couple times a year at least. So good, good information that you can find, uh, find there. If you click on the home button in IBIS World here, it's going to take you back to the home page and you'll see there are the, these US business environment profiles and these are really good particularly when you're looking at doing your pest analysis. You can kind of see these are really general but you can kind of see what kind of things they talk about here. So for example if we go down and look at the financial market, goods and services prices, things like that, these are all going to have impacts on different industries uh, that you're looking at. So you can kind of see here's um, labor and demographics, all those kind of things that would be use, useful in kind of understanding your, your political, economic, social, and technological environment when you're doing uh, a pest analysis for your industry. Next database we'll look at real quick is, is First Research and simply type in telecommunications, do a search there. You'll be presented with different um, results here. Here's your wired telecommunications services and you can kind of see it covers all these general areas, business challenges, opportunities, insight, things like that. So if you want the full profile, just click there and it will give you the full uh, write-up in one uh, big report there. So a great resource to get started with understanding your industry in the telecommunications industry. Next resource we're looking at is Passport GMED and there's a couple different sections you want to look at within here. If you go under Countries and Consumers, there is a Technology Communications and Media section inside Passport GMED. And this takes you to reports about specific countries. So if we go under and look at country briefings in here, and then go down and choose USA, click go here. This gives us a nice report on technology communications and media, USA. You can kind of see lots of different charts, figures, things like that, and give you all kinds of good information, uh, particularly to understand the overall market. So probably a little more in depth than the uh, than Plunkett or IBIS or um, First Research is, particularly when you're talking about you know, uh, different different uh, data and statistics and like that. So it's a great resource to, to complement those resources. The next section we'll look at in Passport GMA, if you go under Industries and then click on Industrial here, we'll bring up the uh, Passport Industrials menu here. And we'll just click on the search tree here and we'll go down and look under Transport and Communications, what we're looking at there, and then click Go. This will take us into this kind of search menu here and if you actually um, drop down you can kind of see there is a section here for telecommunications. I'll get rid of the transport and communications there and then choose geographies. And these reports are only available under, under our subscription for uh, the US so we'll just do USA, go down and click run search. And this gives you lots of different tables and statistics and things like that for um, information about the industry. There's also this industry report here that gets updated about every uh, 18 months or so. Um, and uh, what this will give you is um, uh, information on the telecommunications industry in the U.S. and then you also have nice uh, information here for is like hi hierarchy of the industry. Um, I like this a lot because it gives you information on um, um, attractiveness in the industry and also things such as um, buyers and suppliers and bargaining and things like that. So if we scroll down here you can see even more uh, information uh, on that sort of thing. So here's your competitive environment, uh, things like that, information about your buyers, uh, things like that, suppliers, things like that. So it's a great place to get information, particularly on your on your supply chain and things like that. So good, good resource there. One source, another great resource to look for information on the telecommunications industry. When you get to the database, you'll click on one source here, 
and that's going to actually take us into uh, the one source database. And if you're looking for a particular industry information, if we just go over and type in telecommunications, or if you want to, if you know your NAICS code, you can type it in there as well. Uh, we'll just search for telecommunications. And um, let's see, here's communication services, here's telecommunications, here's wired telecommunications carriers. So let's click on one of these uh, NAICS codes here, and or codes here, and we'll just click on that one there. Uh, it's going to take us into the industry in one source under wired telecommunications carriers. And you can see there's all these different market research reports. There's information about some of the companies that are available, uh, news information, things like that. So I'm actually going to click on, um, I like these Fredonia focus reports when I'm looking at US specific information. So you can kind of see this gives a nice, uh, usually these are about 25 page reports. Um, and you can kind of see they cover trends in the industry, things like that. Um, uh, give you an overview, market size, forecast, things like that. It's a great resource for, for that sort of th information. If you're looking at international market, the BMI reports are pretty good reports to look at as well there. S&P Net Advantage is a great resource to look at for um, this industry as well. If you go to Net, Net Advantage, click on the Industries tab, and this gives you the opportunity to actually click or select your industry in here. So you can kind of go in and say, well, there's... Um, um, communications equipment, there is communications, let's see what we can find in here, there is telecommunications wireline, what they're calling that, there's also um, cable, so there's one for broadcasting cable and satellite, so depending on your angle you might want to look at um, both reports in there, you can kind of see uh, these get updated every six months, they kind of talk about the trends and how the industry operates and things like that, so you can kind of see um, lots of information, lots of lots of statistics, and that kind of stuff. Now, if you want to find get the uh, company data that's available in here, you can click on downloadable company data, and this will actually give you an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I'll open it here and uh, give you all the data that's available in the report in the spreadsheet. And it's a really useful tool uh, to look at, particularly when you want to understand all the different peers uh, in the industry. So the spreadsheet gives a nice comparative company analysis of of our. Uh, broadcasting cable and satellite companies and you get things such as ratios and things like that and other things to, to look at when analyzing your companies and its uh, uh, competitors in that industry. Mergent is also a great tool to look for just specifically industry reports. All you have to do is click on report search and then go under industry reports here and then basically select the industry you're, you're looking at uh, researching. So we'll just do telecommunications here and then go down and click on search. And the nice thing about these reports, they are global in nature. So you see there's some for Asia Pacific and Europe, Latin America. Uh, here's one for North America here. We'll just click on the PDF link there to get um, to get the report. Uh, these offer a little bit different coverage than, uh, say, your um, your report from uh, NetAdvantage does, but it's still uh, worthwhile looking at. 28 pages, and you kind of see they talk about you know the, the environment in the U.S. and in Canada and things like that. So a uh, good resource to look at, uh, particularly to com combine with some of the other reports that we've looked at in this video. Finally, we'll wrap up with looking at Business Source Complete, which is typically an article database that has in some industry and market research reports. Now, I've done a search here for telecommunications and gotten over 364,000 articles here. Now, what I like to do, um, some of these industry profiles are OK, but they're not the best in the world. Um, what I actually like to do is go under and look for trade publications for my industry. So I click on trade publications there, click update. Now we find things like telecommunications reports as an example. So if I click on the title here and then go in and actually click on telecommunications reports as the actual um, uh, publication there. So we have provides thorough and timely coverage and in-depth analysis of the communications business. So that's a pretty good resource to look at when you're doing an industry analysis. If you wanted to, you can actually go up and browse the issues and see what's available in the current issues. You can click on the full text link. We'll actually go in and search and show you what kind of things that are going on in telecommunications industry here as well. You see we're only found less than 10,000 articles in, since 2003. If we wanted to, we can actually go in and, and actually search for particular topics there. So we can put in Outlook or Revenues or legal issues or lawsuits or even a particular company there will give you more information about your company from within this telecommunications reports uh, trade publication, which would be a good way to kind of narrow your search down and find more relevant information on your topic. Hope this video gives you a better understanding of how to research your industry. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and best of luck with your research.